So we brought her inside and I actually had a set of 20 by 12s laying around and I'm getting really bad temptation to put them on. And I think we will. My big helper. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Huh? So yeah, got my light bar down there. Gonna install that. I already took the license plate mount off. Cut it out, put it in, in the nice clean. And I got my tint. Got my tint for the truck. Gonna be doing that right away, so stay tuned. And the way I always do my tint is I do take the door panels off. Just it's easier that way. Um, I don't like when you have to stuff the tin behind that uh, gasket there, the rubber gasket. I like to take it off completely and just do it. They're super simple. Two bolts in here and two down there. That's all it is. The rest is all clips. I actually took this one all off, but I forgot my tripod at home. So my wife went to go get it. Don't be scared. What's the worst that can happen? They're only clips, right? So, like that. And that's it. And she's off. So then you pull this one out. Well, you don't have to, but I do. And you pull these one out. Or like that. Nice and dirty. it all like that and you got full access and then you put your tent on you put that gasket back on and if by doing it this way you prevent it from not going in all the way and then as soon as you go down put your roll your window down it's gonna get kinked or whatever it's gonna peel off so when you do it like this you can practically open the windows right away that's the only reason i do it um the other some other people they don't do it and then you're not allowed to open your windows for what 48 hours something like that so yeah let's get to it so i got the front one all done that's 15 percent in the back in the front and uh five gonna be in the back that side's not done yet that's a difference So same thing on this one, I'm going to take it all apart, see if I can balance my phone on here. Well, hopefully it doesn't fall, I guess we'll find out shortly here.
this truck for 24 hours now probably and it's already getting stuff done to it actually no sorry it took us two days to drive home so no 48 hours not 24. check this out it's almost like it's a different truck right away My stand is a bit slower. Look at that, that's 15%. And that's nothing. So obviously it looks a bit darker because that other side is on. Right here you can see the difference. It's fully clear. I wanted to do a brow or something, but my wife doesn't want to, so she's gonna be mostly driving this truck anyways. That window's dark, look at that. That's awesome. So now I'm gonna do the back ones, pull the headrests out, and then do the side ones, slowly make my way around. as dark on the phone but it's really dark check this out full mirror can't see anything through it so now i gotta do one more back one this one and gotta do the front one and then we're done so here's a little comparison we'll do this way that's looking outside and that's with the tinted one So that looks so much better, guys. Uh, $168 Canadian dollars, and your truck to look like that. You don't need much, you don't need. I don't have a lot of experience, I only did a couple. There's a few bubbles here and there, it's not perfect, but at least I'm not paying six, seven hundred bucks to do it. So, kind of finding a cheaper way to do it and the look changes right away. So what else are we gonna do? Light bar and possibly these uh, 20 by 12s, maybe. I don't know if I can find used tires or something. I bought the rims for $600. So if I can buy, find uh, tires for a couple hundred bucks that are still pretty decent, I will throw them on and uh, just show you guys what's an easy, cheap way of doing a nice pickup and Right now it looks like a grandpa truck. My wife, hate, my wife hates it. She says it looks like a grandpa truck. She wants it to look a little different and she misses her Jeep. So I think with a little bit of modifications here and there, just simple things, we can make it look good and she's gonna love it. So I'll try to get her a reaction as soon as we're done. Um, I didn't tell her much about the rims yet because I wasn't sure if I was able to find something, but if we can slap them on and they don't rub like crazy, we'll keep them on, so. I only have a couple of hours to do it. I'm super excited. But yeah, let's get to it. And another fast forward video and we'll be done. See, I'm not professional. I just have backing paper stuck to the truck and that's it. Because I'm not a professional. <laughs> so yeah, let's change the video and uh, get to it. and take a look at it set you guys down here
It's probably the cheapest and the best model you can do to a truck. Check this out. This truck looks day and night difference. Just the tint, that's all I did to it. That oh, looks so much better. You guys won't believe it. Wow, I like that so much better. Nice, now the only thing we gotta do is rims and tires, light bar and uh, paint the rest white, I guess. Check out how dark it is. So through the phone it doesn't look as dark, but you can't see anything, even if you really want to. The front is not that dark, you'll see a shadow, probably, but that's as dark as I want to go. So these water lines, can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. So they'll go away as soon as it heats up a little bit, that's just my squeegee. She's getting a little bit rough and old, and I do see I missed a spot here, so I'll do that right away. That can get fixed, no problem. Can't wait, hopefully there's a tune out for these guys. Yeah, this one turned out way better. Hopefully there's a tune out. I'll get one. Well, anyways, I'll be back as soon as I go eat lunch and I'll be back doing some more stuff. So stay tuned.